Live from ABC 7, this is News at 630. And be with us here as we learn to deal with this news of days to come. <laughs> Terror in Texas tonight. Dozens are dead, others injured after a shooting inside of a church. We'll take you to Texas straight ahead. I was pretty freaked out about this when I heard about it. Meanwhile, a shooting closer to home leaves a man dead in downtown Naples, right next to a popular shopping strip. Get more on this murder mystery and the search for the shooter tonight. And facing an uphill battle after Hurricane Irma, get more on the comeback for businesses in Bonita Springs. But we can begin with that breaking news right now at 6.30. Tensions and emotions are high as the FBI is investigating a deadly church shooting in Sutherland Springs, Texas. That's just outside of San Antonio. Here's what we know right now. Officials tell ABC News at least 27 people are dead and another 27 are injured. One of the people who died was the pastor and his wife's 14-year-old daughter. Officials say the gunman is dead as well. And just coming into our newsroom within the last half an hour, Officials have identified that shooter as Devin Kelly of New Braunfels, Texas. ABC's Brian Clark is in Texas tonight, getting us more on what officials are now calling the deadliest mass killing at a house of worship in modern U.S. history. And be with us here as we learn to deal with this these days to come. <laughs> Families in tears waiting to see if their loved ones are safe, praying for everybody's safety. Emergency vehicles pouring into the town of Sutherland Springs, just 35 miles southeast of San Antonio. Helicopters airlifting the wounded to nearby hospitals. Is anyone in that church that, uh, that died, we know that they're in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ right now. The closely knit town of about 650 people preparing to hear the names of the deceased. We all know and we're all prepared right now. Right now that we're going to hear names and we're going to know every one of them. A sheriff says that the gunman walked into the church and started firing. Authorities say the attacker is dead. Amidst the grief and tears, one woman says fate kept her alive. I changed my mind to go to church today. Agents from the FBI and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms are on the scene, as well as numerous Texas law enforcement officials. President Trump from Japan tweeting, may God be with the people of Sutherland Springs. Brian Clark, ABC News, New York. In a text message to the Associated Press, the pastor's wife said she and her husband were out of town during this shooting. They are currently working to get back to Sutherland Springs tonight. This is now the second church shooting to happen just this year. In September, a deadly shooting happened at a church near Nashville, Tennessee. One person was killed and six other people were hurt. The gunman was charged with one count of murder in that case. Meanwhile, in 2015, you may remember nine people were killed in a shooting at a church in Charleston, South Carolina. Investigators say Dylan Roof walked into that church and started shooting. Roof was convicted last year for the shootings and was later sentenced to death. ABC7 will continue to follow, to follow this shooting, and we will bring you the latest details in this newscast and online at abc-7.com. We have developing news tonight out of Naples. Police say a 25-year-old man is dead after he was found shot in the stomach in downtown Naples early this morning. Police say Franklin Francois is the victim. Investigators are still looking for his killer tonight. ABC 7's Joe Petrello is at the murder scene for us, just a block away from busy Fifth Avenue tonight. He talked to witnesses who are shocked that this happened. Joe. Yeah, so Fifth Avenue is just right over that way. But police say that someone shot Fran Franklin Francois right over here at the entrance of the plaza and the intersection of 6th Avenue. Now, if you take a look over here, somebody has left a bouquet of flowers for the victim, and it does read uh, that I love you, my brother. So obviously a lot of emotion out here. We spoke to some of the business owners here in the plaza. You see some of the doors along here in the businesses, and they're very shocked that something like this happened just outside their doors. No one deserves to die like this. Uh, he said, I'm shocked. Sure because I never seen that in my life since I came here. Business owners in downtown Naples confused and in fear after 25-year-old Franklin Francois was shot right outside their doors, just a block away from the popular Fifth Avenue South. Police say it happened just before 2 Sunday morning. The shooter's motive still unclear. I see a, a young kids going down like this. It's, it's painful for the parents. You know, it's like... Ruben Scasse is a father of four boys and owns a taxi service in the plaza. He says he was inside during the shooting and ran out after hearing the shots to try and help Franklin. Franklin was shot in the stomach and died from his injuries at Naples Community Hospital. 
you know, it's like the whole time I was thinking about my kids. You know, I don't know. I hope the best for them in the future, but we don't know what's where they're gonna end up. One place, one time, what's gonna happen? As detectives continue to investigate, people who live close to the scene are anxiously waiting for the shooter to be found. You know, you got kids, you got the apartment here, and it's pretty shaken up. Police haven't reported any arrests yet, and uh, right now they're still looking for whoever is the killer. They haven't released any description of a suspect either. Reporting tonight in Naples, Joe Petrello, ABC7. Joe, thanks. Today marks a major milestone in the Hurricane Irma recovery process in Bonita Springs. Today was the grand reopening of the Wonder Gardens, where 85% of that property was destroyed by Hurricane Irma. ABC 7's Simone Cucurulo went to that grand reopening today. She's getting us more on how the attraction is already helping local businesses in the area. Simone. Ross, it's been a long road to recovery for many businesses in downtown Bonita. Hurricane Irma left many neighborhoods near the Imperial River underwater. But with one of the area's major attractions officially reopening its doors today, many hope this is the first step towards getting business back to normal. Hey. Yeah. Cutting the red tape is symbolic for businesses in many ways. But for the people of Benita Springs, today's ribbon cutting at the Wonder Gardens means much more. We're kind of the economic anchor for downtown. We bring tens of thousands of people to downtown. Just ask Alicia Rhodes, owner of the Twisted Tangle Cafe right next door. My business was closed for three weeks after Armour. I lost all my food. I had a um, couple feet of flooding on my patio area. The Twisted Tangle Cafe is normally closed on Sundays, but with the reopening of the Wonder Gardens, Alicia decided to open her doors. The Wonder Gardens definitely needs to be up and running, and, you know, it's a... It's an icon for Bunny Springs. Everywhere in town is getting back to what I call a new normal. The new normal, Mayor Peter Simmons explains, is a goal many businesses are striving to reach. <laughs> but now things are looking up for the Downtown Alliance. This is a great community um, right from the city council on down. Uh, everybody wants to participate. Everybody wants to see downtown get um, back up and functioning. and. Um, everybody's worked hard to make that happen. The Wonder Gardens was also presented a $3,000 check from the Rotary Club of Bonita Springs, which is a big help as 75% of their operating costs comes from the revenue generated by ticket and gift shop sales. I'm live in the studio tonight, Simone Cucurulo, ABC7. Good news there. Thanks, Simone. Let's get you more tonight on the road to recovery. Collier County is hosting a relief concert called Naples is Rocking. It's Saturday, December 9th and Sunday, December 10th. Local and national acts will be performing. Organizers say the goal of this concert is to make sure people know that Naples and the surrounding areas are in good shape after Irma. The event will be held at Naples Square. All of the proceeds and donations will go towards Hurricane Irma relief efforts. We have new video tonight of a boat rescue that happened just off the coast of Sanibel Island. Hey, I'm going over. Not going over. Four boaters were rescued Saturday after their boat started sinking. The Coast Guard responded to the emergency after a boater radioed in saying he was taking on water and having mechanical trouble. The group was found less than an hour after their call for help. No one was hurt. Taking to the streets of Cape Coral to voice their displeasure for police. Get more on the graffiti and how residents are taking matters into their own hands. And a little later, a gruesome murder mystery involving a young woman. Why her husband, a former pro football player, is now the primary suspect, but yet still has not been charged. We'll be right back.